Hey everyone, Storm Shield Meteorologist Jason Myers here. Wednesday, July 2nd. It, yesterday, not a bad day. We saw quite a few thunderstorms, but very few of them actually became severe. We didn't have a lot of storm reports, so I'm not even going to bother today. Oh, and a quick reminder, Storm Shield on sale the rest of the week. It's $2.99, normally $4.99, so snag the app while you can save $2 and uh, have a little extra coin in your pocket. Today, just a slight risk for some severe weather. Everything moves to the east, uh, really from North Carolina all the way up to Maine. I'm not real confident in uh, much severe weather happening today. The biggest threat is going to be wind shaded in yellow. That's about a 15% risk. Hail is a little bit smaller risk area, only from Northern Virginia to Maine. And then tornado is smaller yet, uh, just a 2% risk in Pennsylvania all the way up to Maine once again. So all in all, not a bad day. What really concerns me more is actually these storms moving through parts of uh, Texas and southern Oklahoma. They're looking pretty nasty right now, but it looks like they're going to be fizzling out as we head through the rest of the day. Here's what I mean by that with forecast models, throwing them up there, get rid of the radar, and you can see as we head through the day, we'll start out this morning and the rain showers and thunderstorms in parts of Texas and Oklahoma, those, uh, those actually fizzle out as we head into the afternoon hours. You'll notice hardly anything by this afternoon and this evening. On the other hand, where we're looking at the risk for severe weather, very scattered showers and storms from North Carolina all the way up to Maine. It doesn't look like this is going to be a widespread event. Just a few showers and storms here and there not much to worry about. If we do see severe weather, they'll be few and far between, mostly this afternoon, this evening, and getting a little bit into the overnight hours as well. As for uh, Tropical Storm Arthur, I'm going to post a video here shortly, uh, giving you an update on what's going on down in Florida and up the East Coast for the holiday weekend. Thanks for watching this video. In the meantime, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to download the app. Save yourself two bucks. See you next time.